But the Course is saying, no, this, this Course does not aim at teaching the meaning of love. You know, for that is far beyond what can be taught. It does aim at removing the obstacles to the awareness of love's presence. So, yeah. so that's the focus, of course. Uh, it's not on trying to love or love better, or trying to love God or love God better. It's simply not hiding and protecting the, the thoughts and beliefs that are coming up to awareness for healing. stream in the desert, like a path through the snow, wherever I am, this guiding me about that with relationships and marriage. If only I hadn't done this and done that. If only I had been smart enough to do this and this. Or with making money or with, you know, gaining, you know, something in the world. If, if, if. But if is the hypothetical. And I always share that of all the teachings I've done, you know, over these 17 years, that's probably, that's getting down to the deepest. seeking me, and I know that what it seeks is what it finds. Uh, love's on a seek mission, and it's going to find you, and there's nothing you can do. You can play hide and seek <laughs> uh, if you want in time and space, but, but love is too powerful. It's, it's, it's the only reality there is, and it will find you. titled that book A Course in Miracles because he knew how important miracles were to really opening up your heart and really having a sense of true sustained intimacy, the kind of intimacy that you would stay, would stay with you uh, all through the day, day after day, it would be a consistent state, is, is through <coughs> taking on a function of being a miracle worker and, and having the intimacy that comes that is sourced by God. Wherever I am in this world